Suron LBX 2024 model, and it's this black boy here. Um, and some of the changes from the 2023 model, which is this bike here, Keith. Yeah. So you could talk people through some of these important changes that you might not know about if you're looking to buy a 2024 model uh, LBX around the world. We're obviously here in Australia where we sell these bikes. There have been some significant changes. Let's talk the folks through them, mate. Okay, I've been looking into this one since it arrived. Mm. So the first thing you can see is the connections. We've got one. Very different, isn't it? connection into there. I'm going to show over here how it used to be. So this is the way that the LBX has always have been since oh, maybe 2017, 2018 when they first came out that there were two plugs and now Ceron Official have sneakily changed things Keith. Yep so we've got one plug. Mm. And of course, I guess that means if you're looking at some of the aftermarket batteries that are out there, your plug, your harness is just not going to fit with them. No. Unless you were, say, buying um, an EBMX or a more power electric race battery where we include the QS8 harness, you're obviously you're replacing the, um, the controller end and you lose your air switch. But some of the uh, standard batteries uh, wouldn't fit. No. Mm. Without connection, it's just not going to work for you. Yeah, so we have to find a little bit of a workaround on that one. Um, what else have you noticed that's different with the 24 model, mate? Okay, um, where you would de restrict this with a green wire loop. Oh, the old black and green wire. Everyone was cutting those, yeah, to de restrict it so it would go 70 or 75k an hour. So they're saying you don't need to do it at all on this one, it's already done. All done. Yeah. Nothing to cut. Nothing to cut. And I noticed that the display as well, Keith, says maximum 75. Yeah. Is that right? That's right. That's what it says on it. So that's that's changed as well, the way that display is. And the um, the programming cable here, yeah. or the fault cable has changed. Yeah, the flasher. The flasher, because the old one used to look like this. If you wanted to do some diagnostics or adjust your regen or something, you use this. Now you get something that's... Uh, yeah. A bit, little bit different, isn't it? <laughs> and this is um, in the loom just here, the little plug. Okay. Just, just make it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the fuses and stuff still the same as far Everything as we know? Same, yeah, same yeah. fuses still in there. Okay. Air switch. Yep. I can't see any other differences other than uh, Wheels, tyres, brakes, frame, yep. design, suspension. Nothing obvious. All the same, things. guys. But um, battery, yeah. Big change, it's still a 40 amp hour, yeah. um, but the different plug is just going to create a few little complications for some of the aftermarket batteries. So if you are thinking of buying an EBMX or a more power electric battery, and you've got a 2024 model and you've got that plug, just be careful as to which one you buy. If you jump online to the EBMX Australia website, we've got different batteries. Some of them are gonna fit your 24 model straight in, Yep. Uh, others aren't, so uh, do shoot us a message if you've got any queries around that. Right. Yeah, well, till next time, guys, stay safe. Hope you liked the video. Thanks, Keith. Cheers. Bye.